hi pisces welcome back welcome back to the channel it is always a blessing to have you right back here today's reading is all about you you know you're a diamond please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright like a diamond let me go ahead and put my mic in y'all because i just realized that my microphone is out let's go ahead and put it in so that way you guys can hear me clearly all right so i just got off the live stream um and i promised pisces that I would do a reading for y'all, okay? So I'm a woman of my word. So here we go. You know you're a diamond. Please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright, Pisces, like a diamond. Also, please make a friendly note. That reading will not resonate to every single one of you. Take from the reading what resonates to your situation and leave the rest. It could even go in the reverse. For your person, past, for or future person, even for the cross watchers who are watching, this reading could also be for you. And if you do need to have a personal reading, um, just check the information in the comment section. Not in the comment section, y'all. Check the information down in the uh, description part of this video. And you'll see exactly how to connect me to have a personal reading done. Okay? All right, I'm going to get into... I'm going to get... I'm tongue-tied, y'all. I'm going to get into a quick prayer. Because we do pray here on this channel. So I'm going to get into a quick pray, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, get into your reading, see what comes through. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor, and I do give you all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Right, let me adjust this thing here. All right, that looks um, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of, let's just say, pull some messages through here. Let me change my deck out, y'all, because I did use this one in the live stream. And I don't want to pick up the energy that I had picked up on the live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and pull me out a fresh deck. Alright, I'm going to use this one. I don't want to use that one because I'm afraid it might pull um, different energies that I had picked up earlier on that live stream. Alright, let's pull some, ooh, let's pull some messages here for Pisces. Alright. What's the energy for Pisces? Angels, what is the energy for Pisces, please? What's the present energy? All right, so I'm getting that you might need to retreat. Um, is what I'm getting here. Retreat and recharge, okay? Um, with this card, it does give me a sense of meditation, maybe some of you physical exhaustion here. I do feel choices, okay? These choices are definitely telling me that it's time that you remove yourself from that situation or those situations or that environment, all right? It definitely needs a sense of cleansing your space and your energy from what it is that you have found yourself binded into. Now, bask into the joy of light is coming through. This is telling me that it's also time to connect with your spiritual side of you, okay? Basking into joy, things that is going to make you happy and pleasant, not things that's going to drain you of your mental frame of mind here. The light, you have to allow that light to shine right through you, okay? Right through you. Um, and not blocking the energy. So that's why it's, it's, it's pretty... Um, present at this moment to kind of find your way to maybe reconnect or to connect with your spiritual side, maybe with some of your ancestors here that want to come through and connect with you, okay? What is the energy? Be brave and honest, okay? So I'm feeling for some of you, why Angel might have given me this uh, message, you have to be brave about moving forward or trying to have people come towards you that have you feeling timid or let's just say being honest to folks 
um, kind of holding on to your true feelings and not really want to hurt others. But I feel for some of you, time that you kind of reverse that into the, the opposite here. Because you're not trying to have anyone dampen your true self here. I feel like the situation, because you've not been really brave and been honest about movements that seems to come towards you. Because right here is already telling me that you need to retreat and to recharge. You have to definitely do that. Retreat and, and recharge in your energy. And be and and just be honest with situations or people that come towards you with foolishness. For some of you know that these things that they come towards you doesn't make any sense. But you have a blind eye. See your um see your seed grow. Watch your seed grow. Start planting these seeds. And the seeds that you are going to plant is the seeds of happiness, peace, and joy here, is what I'm seeing coming through for some of you. Um, those seeds are needed right now um to be planted. I feel like you've definitely put away those seeds in a far place here, but it's time that you um, go ahead and get those seeds and plant and put them in the hurt and watch them grow here. Surround yourself with protective energy. Look at that, y'all. Okay? Surround yourself with nothing but protective energy. I don't know why I feel like for some of you, have definitely had been mingled with negativity. Negativity, Okay? You're definitely going to have to surround yourself or starting to surround yourself or find a way to surround yourself with positive energy, positivity. Because I do feel like because you have definitely found yourself um, caught up in places that you should not have been, you definitely have to do a whole soul cleansing here. An entire soul cleansing here, so surrounding yourself with nothing but protection. All right. I'm also getting trust your instincts because your instinct, just like your intuition does, it speaks to you loud and clear. But some of you do feel when these little foolishness comes around you and trying to block your energy from prosperity and trying to have you flow into another dimension, okay? A dimension that surrounds them and it doesn't really connect with your energy and it does make you feel really, really down and it puts you in a dark place here. But I do feel like there's some sudden changes that is about to approach you. We're going to find out more what's going to have what's happening here and where your forward movement is um is heading to. For some of you, you definitely need some changes in your situation as far as your money is concerned, um, with your relationship is concerned. You're kind of still on the fence here. But some of you are kind of just hoping that situation will change and kind of gravitate towards what you really need here. But what I'm feeling is it takes two here. Okay. The Aerophone. Wow. I do feel like some of you are definitely trying or wanting to connect with love here. Um, but love has not found its way the way that you really wanted to, to find. I do feel like you definitely wear your heart in the wrong place here. Um, your situation is definitely kind of watching you from a distance, spying on you from a distance here, but a very unhealthy kind of a method. With your energy right now, it seems to be very off here because it did show up in the reverse, the Queen of Cups here. Um, Things are just not raining your way, okay? You feel like the sun hasn't um, rained on your house for in forever so long, and things are kind of um, drying up around you, your energy. um, And you're kind of wondering, trying to figure out what's going on, maybe... You're the reason, but I don't see you being the reason here. I see you picking up the pieces here is what I see you doing, okay? I see you picking up the pieces. I see you trying to start something new, something fresh, Um, just finding yourself again, loving yourself for you. Uh, for some of you, maybe thinking about um losing a couple of pounds, maybe changing up the way that you eat, starting going to the gym, maybe start going out a little bit and just meeting new people. This is what I'm, your energy is giving me here. A fresh start. Um, you're tapping into your strength, um, rebuilding yourself, doing things um, out of the norm, things that you never really thought that you would, you would have done. That is you. I do see you kind of trying to move forward here, um, reaching out, all right, um, wanting to take the next step, the next journey, uh, pathway here, trying to figure out the path to take here for some of you, but kind of still kind of Wearing your your heart in your in the in your back pocket, all right. Still kind of taking 
your emotions and what you're really feeling with this energy that is coming through. But I do feel like you have definitely rested long enough here because you have your fair share of what you had to deal with with this entire relationship. Or let's just say with this entire situation at hand here. You've definitely rested enough. Now it's definitely time that you kind of pick up the pieces and move forward to be happy because your happiness is not coming in at a pace that you would have hoped or wanted it because the four of wands did show up in the upright position. Now, this person is definitely not ready. I feel like they're not ready to commit or there's something that is stopping them from committing to you or giving you that commitment because it's in the upright, y'all. It shouldn't be that way. It should be this way. This person is definitely not ready. Uh, maybe there's others that is distracting them from really moving forward with you. Um, and it is definitely kind of having you question yourself, even though you kind of pretend like everything is okay um, and you're fine with the outcome. But deep in here, you're really not fine with the outcome because I do see you having your heart here in the three of wands in, the, in your back pocket. Even though you're trying to move on from it, you're still kind of hurt because your heart is still with you. Okay. Now, with the justice card being here, I do feel justice is going to be played out here. Somebody's going to get their karma. I feel like the reason why karma is kind of creeping up on, on an individual is because they kind of kind of manipulated the situation, okay? They kind of made, kind of made you uh, think that there was kind of some hope here. But in all reality, this person was juggling two things, okay? They was juggling many things, let's just say. Um, taking your heart uh, for granted, right? Juggling two things. They're not ready. They're very confused here. They think it's okay to do that. Um, I see third parties coming in here. I see people having egos. Okay. Um, period. All right. But what I do see is you making moves here. You trying to figure a way out. Forward movement. Moving forward into what you really want to do here. And this could also be this person who's coming in as saying, I still want to have a... a a uh, little um, something on the side or let's just say just come over and see you whenever they want or call and come over whenever they want. I still see this person trying to do this because the chariot is here. The chariot could be this person is coming towards you at a very slow pace here with you making the decision or not sharing anything else with this person. It could also mean that you're moving forward with your life as well. Um, I do see you doing that. And I do see in the long haul that you, there's a possibility of you meeting someone else pretty soon. This person seems to be coming towards you, but your life right now is calling for you to heal. And it's calling for you to have self-love and to have a rebirth of something new within yourself. All right? Learning yourself all over again is what I'm seeing doing you doing here. Now, for some of you, you're either dealing with a separation. For some of you, might have been married, Pisces. But I do see a sense of heartbreak and anxiety and, and depression and all that stuff that you've had to deal with, with this entire situation here at hand. Now, for some of you here, I do feel like you're, uh, even though you feel like your relationship is a hopeless cause here, you still hope that it wasn't that case. All right. You really wanted to kind of bail something with your person here. Um, and they would um, build something back with you, but your person is definitely not ready, right? They're not ready, even though the temperance is here. I feel like because you're not ready, and this is exactly what you want you want to have a family, you want to be happy, um, and that is what you should be. But I do feel like for right now, uh, because this person is definitely not ready. Angels are sending someone on your behalf to be ready for you, but you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer and give yourself all the self-love because I do feel a lot of changes. Some of you, you're going to have some changes coming towards you on your job. I see abundance coming through here. Yeah, new beginnings. All right, journey, chapter, starting, and things are ending. Cycle is coming towards you. This is your cycle right now to get ready and, and, and just to embrace um, what's going to happen here. Someone is definitely yearning and coming in towards you with happiness here. New beginnings here. Look at that. Love, light, and, and life. All right, it's coming, but you just have to wait patiently here, y'all, and just get yourself on a spiritual journey is what I'm seeing here. This is your reading for today, y'all. I hope it resonates with you. Take on the reading what did and leave the rest, okay? Um, I love you guys. You guys rock. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. If I thumbs up this video, y'all, and I see it get 100 views, I'll definitely do some more of these readings for y'all, okay? 
Love you, you guys rock. Um, don't forget to pray, but most of all, always remember to seek first and you will always find.